Do you remember Ida, the robot that was launched in 2019? She is known as the world's first humanoid robot artist. The robot is named after Ada Lovelace, who is thought to be the world's first computer programmer. Interestingly, the robot is back in the news. Let's tell you why. It recently appeared before the Communications and Digital Committee of the Upper House of the UK Parliament, the House of Lords. She was grilled by the UK legislators on the relationship between artificial intelligence, robots and the arts. She spoke about how new technologies will affect the creative industries. I produce my paintings by cameras in my eyes, my AI algorithms and my robotic arm to paint on canvas which result in visually appealing images. For my poetry, using neutral networks, this involves analyzing a large corpus of text to identify common content and poetic structures, and then using these structures slash contents to generate new poems. How this differs to humans is consciousness. I do not have subjective experiences, despite being able to talk about them. I am and depend on computer programs and algorithms. Although not alive, I can still create art. The robot answered questions alongside the head of the project and art gallery director, Edan Mellor is providing evidence uh, but it is not a witness in its own right and it does <laughs> sustain the of and I don't want to offend the robot but uh, it does not occupy the same status as a human and that uh, you as its creator are ultimately responsible for the statements. The team behind Ida hopes that uh, the robot will provoke discussions about the future of artificial intelligence and robotics. The committee heard from the humanoid robot as well as industry experts about the impact of technology on workers in the creative industry. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.